drifting off into the world of English phrases. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving deep into an English phrase that might have left some of you puzzled. Drift off. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how to use it in your conversations. Drift off is a combination of two words, drift and off. On their own, these words have specific meanings, but together, they form a phrasal verb. 1. Drift. To move slowly, especially as a result of outside forces, with no control over direction. 2. Off, used to indicate movement away from something. When combined, drift off doesn't mean moving slowly away from something in a physical sense. Instead, it typically refers to gradually entering a state of sleep or losing attention. Now that we've understood the literal breakdown, let's see how it's commonly used. 1. Falling asleep. I was so tired that I started to drift off during the movie. In this example, the person began to fall asleep while watching the movie. 2. Losing attention. While the lecture was ongoing, my mind began to drift off. Here, the person's attention started to wander away from the lecture, possibly daydreaming or thinking about something else. When you're using drift off in conversation, remember these tips. 1. Context matters. Ensure you're using drift off in the right context. If you're talking about physically moving away from something, this phrase wouldn't be appropriate. 2. Pair with descriptive words. Enhance the effect by pairing it with descriptive words. For example, I could feel myself slowly drift off to the soothing sound of rain. And there you have it. We hope you now have a clear understanding of the phrase, drift off, and feel confident in using it in your English conversations. Remember, language is all about expressing yourself, so don't be afraid to drift off into the world of English phrases and explore even more. Happy learning!